In the previous tutorial, we built a basic database design where we create a thread and a post table. We also establish a relation within. However, we did not have any data in the database which is crucial to start the development of the app. So welcome ladies and gentlemen. In this tutorial, we generate some fake data and seed it to our database. Open the project in the Atom IDE and create a new folder called Utilities. Oops. Yeah. And under the Utilities folder, create a, create a new file and named it as Generate Fake Data dot pl. Before writing any meaningful Perl code, we consider few points. Number one, what's the purpose of this file? Why do we need to create this file? And what do we want to achieve? Uh, let's answer these questions one by one. This file is used to generate fake data for MySQL database. We create data for thread and post table using this file and further extend the script to produce data for other database tables. Initially, we want to build data for thread and post table in a CSV file and import the CSV into the database. Let's start creating the script. The first line is always the location of the Perl executable binaries. In Unix systems, it's user bin Perl. But to find the exact location, uh, you need to go to the command line and then write which Perl and then copy this path and oops. Uh -huh. and paste it here and put a shebang in front the next is you need to write use strict use warnings and then we need to use uh, one more package that is the text lorem and if you don't have this package you need to install this package from the cpan and now create a new variable my dollar text using this text lorem package text lorem and new and what next we want to create the csv files okay so let's initialize those as we discussed earlier we need to say we need to create the csv files and then import those csv files into the mysql database so let's create those files uh, my dollar uh, thread underscore file let's say it's thread.csv and my dollar post underscore file and let's name it as post dot csv so what next now we need to create this file because the, in these lines we just create a variable having the file names let's create those files open my dollar tfh that is the file handle and to create a new file we need to uh, have a greater greater than symbol and uh, then write the name of the file which is thread file and this in the same way create the post file that is the let's say pfh is the handler and dollar post underscore file how much data do we want to generate let's say we create 500 threads and each thread associates with 10 post so initialize a counter variable dollar uh, counter 
is equal to 1 and iterate the counter variable 500 times using while loop while dollar counter is less than equal to 500 so what are the fields we want to generate let's take a look at the database and uh, take a look at the thread table and in thread we want to generate id and the title columns whereas created at and updated underscore at generates by default so go back to the ide and uh, write my dollar title is equal to dollar text and words and we want to generate titles with five words and that's it and id is same as the counter variable and now save the data in a file so tfh is the thread file handle and we want counter and separated by a comma and dollar title and separated by a new line character now we need to increase the value of the counter so let's execute the script from the command line go to the command line and go to the utilities directory so it's uh, I'm already under the utilities directory so execute this file per generate fake underscore data dot pl and hit enter uh, oops i don't have the text lorem package myself uh, it is there but might be for a different version of perl so anyways let's install it sudo cpanm uh, install text lorem and it's password and let's wait no it's text lorem it it's text lorem not the test lorem so let's wait for it and now okay so the text lorem is installed so execute the file again and it says the global symbol counter requires explicit package name okay uh, hmm it is oh it's sorry it's my dollar counter and again execute execute it again and it executed so you can see the post and the thread files are created but the size of the post file is zero as we didn't generate the data for the post but we have the data for the thread check the number of lines thread.csv the number of lines is 500 and let's take a look at the content of the file and yeah so exit the file and that's all for now in the next tutorial we generate the data for the post table see you there